to our introductory class on agricultural extension and rural sociology. The course code for this course is AEE 311. The course title is Introduction to Agricultural Extension and Rural Sociology. As we commence this course, please would want to let everyone know that this is the foundation class. It's a foundation class, it's a kind of beginner's class. What we want to do here is to introduce you to the course AEE 311. So we solicit your attention, we solicit your rapt attention. Nothing less will be okay for this course. Let's first of all establish that extension service is very, very critical. In fact, it is indispensable as it offers more than just expert assistance in improvement of agricultural production and processing processes. Beyond the assistance that um, extension offers in agricultural production and processing um, processes, extension also goes into a whole lot of advisory services. So this aspect we're going to look at is very, very critical for all of us. For instance, it's extension that enables the flow of information and transfer of knowledge and scientific findings for them to be transferred, to be transformed into practices. Extension is needed to encourage the adoption of these things. Let's do a little bit um, definition of extension. Of course, we have uh, set out goals here on the slide for this session. We expect that at the end of this session, that each of the participants, you should be able to define and understand the scope of agricultural extension. We also expect that every participant here will understand the rules of research institutes. Here we mean specifically agricultural research institutes. We move from here to look at the meaning and scope of agricultural extension. By way of definition, we will define agricultural extension as an ongoing process of trained professionals helping farm families to improve on their standard of living through the adoption of innovation and certified production practices. The process, let's take it one after the other. First of all, we establish the fact that extension is an ongoing process. It means extension is not for the past. Extension is not just for the present. Extension is not just for the future. Extension is for the past. Extension is for the present. Extension is for the future. So agric extension combines this process. There is no point in time when we would say that extension would no longer exist. There is no point when we would say extension is no longer relevant. This is because agricultural extension targets to use trained professionals. These professionals must have had either what we call the pre-service training or the in-service training. These trainings are expected to equip them to interact with farm families. So what extension does is to aid farm families. With time, we will also discuss the dynamism of agricultural extension in the sense that as time keep changing, as events keep changing, as the needs of the farm families keep changing, extension is expected to be dynamic and also to flow along. Formerly, we are looking at the introduction of computers to agriculture. Extension would move from analog to the introduction of computers. We've migrated to the use of social media. It's expected that extension will also move into the use of social media. We are talking about artificial intelligence now. Extension is expected to play an active role in that area. When it comes to data analysis and data processing, we have seen different softwares, application softwares from Microsoft Excel, 
to SPSS to Power BI extension is expected to also help farm families in all dimensions of agricultural production. The target here, the reason why extension is helping farm families is because extension is out to improve their standard of living. Their standard of living. Please class, we want everyone to be conscious and to recall that the target is farm families. And whatever we are doing around the farm families, that what we want to do is to improve on their standard of living through the adoption of innovations. This is important. Through the adoption of innovations. Subsequently in this class, we will be able to look at the adoption process from the level of being aware, interested, evaluation, trial, adoption, uh, before discontinuing. We look at those processes in the course of this study. But then the farmer is expected to adopt, to utilize, to engage these practices that extension is bringing to ensure that the standard of living is improved. Now, these ideas, these new ways, these new practices are called innovations. And they are both in practices and behaviors as well as in farm products. So we talk about certified production practices. The process of having certified production pro uh, practices, usually in extension, begins with our innovation incubation centers. We will also get to that le level later. But extension would make sure that the practices are certified after taking it, taking these practices through several stages. For instance, we have the stage, the small plot adoption technique, which we call the SPAT, which is a part of the ADP and the ADP process. Um, it came with the training and visit system. We also um, have the on-farm adaptive research, which is the offer, which is another level of checking the compatibility, the suitability of the innovation uh, to the farmer. So if the innovation goes through these stages and then it is found compatible, it becomes certified. And having been certified, extension can now transfer them to farmers for use. I just want to believe that you've understood clearly the meaning of extension. Because what we are saying that in general to transfer information, knowledge, and technologies from research systems to farmers. Extension is that fair and that agency, that structure that advises fam families, equips them with better information and ideas to facilitate um, optimal decision making educating farmers and empowering farmers to be able to clarify and realize their goals. Scope of activities and tasks of extension service. In discussing the scope of agricultural extension, we want to highlight that extension has the objective to assist family holdings of farmers in the improvement of methods and techniques of agricultural production. The objective of extension is to help the farm by helping the farm families. Or, by the way, extension seeks to help the farm families as they bring about improvement on the farms. So the extension seeks to develop new information new abilities, as well as apply them directly on the farm to the transfer of letters technology. So specifically, extension work relates to diverse areas of agricultural operations. Extension is so diverse. You have various areas of agricultural production that extension goes in right from the concept of going to farm to the point of sales, extension uh, relates to these diverse 
operations. Extension also work in the development of new guidelines. Extension works in the development of new guidelines. Extension work and assist the adoption of measures within the agrarian policy. Also, extension is there to assist Extension is there to assist in organization and work of organizations. For instance, by the time extension gets to the rural areas, to the rural communities, where there are pharma cooperatives, extension is there to assist these pharma cooperatives in order to attend to their goals. It is part of extension duty to build capacity of agricultural producers for more successful management of their farms. Extension will build capacity of these uh, of our farmers in order to ensure that they are successful. Agricultural extension as part of its scope is also involved in the directing of rural development of our local communities. Of course, we would see in this case that it will be difficult to have successful rural development program if we do not effectively engage in agricultural development. The reason for this is simple. Majority of rural dwellers are involved in agricultural production practices. And whatever that will touch their lives must also touch their main source of livelihood. We want to also uh, remind you that extension is involved in the preservation of natural resources and environment what we mean by sustainable development. As big as that grammar may sound, class, as big as that grammar may sound, sustainable development does not speak of anything else apart from ensuring that resources that are available for now are optimally utilized without risking the ability of future generation to make use of them. That is just what sustainable development means. And it will have to do with both human and material resources. Of course, um, I think you should all be aware of the SDG, the Sustainable Development Goals. We want to advise you to please take out your time and know all the SDGs, all the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, so that it will be able to help you to understand what extension has come to do, because extension is how to relate these SDGs to rural communities. We go ahead. What extension has come to do, the scope of extension. Extension also is into the directing and harmonizing production with natural resources and market demands. There are moments when farmers are engaged in production, and you see over time, farmers do not make gains from their production activities. The reason is simple. Adequate study of the market may not have been done, and the farmers may not have been properly advised on how to go about the marketing of their products. Of course, we know of recent extension is playing very active role in value chain addition. What value chain addition seeks to do is to open up avenues, open up means for farmers to make more gains from their production activities. So that's what extension does, directing and harmonizing production with natural resources and then market demands. Also, extension is also interested in induce, inducing the formation of uh, producer associations and other social groups in the villages. So such producer organizations will include the agricultural cooperative um, agencies and other social groups that play active role in agriculture. Extension cannot do this effectively without liaising with agricultural research institutes. So part of our study this morning Please, everyone in class, part of our study this morning is to discuss the roles of agricultural research institutes. But we may not go into full detail 
is relative. It's relative in the sense that an idea may be innovative to one, but not innovative to another. It's relative in the sense that an idea that is innovative to a certain farmer in a certain location may not be new, may not be innovative to another farmer in a different location. But once an idea is new to a potential user, such an idea is said to be innovative. So that's where we would be in this particular um, class. This, uh, but before you go, before you go, I want you to take uh, these personal assignments on your own. We expect that you do it to add to your knowledge and that you have no regrets doing them. One, you should, you should be able to define extension by yourself in your own words. Two, we expect that you should be able to list at least 20 agricultural research institutes in Nigeria. Uh, you tell us their mandate crop and their location. And then thirdly, the, the third one is that we expect every candidate, every student, please go and learn the ADP organogram. Know the active participants in the ADP structure, know what they do and how they go about doing them. ADP is one aspect of agriculture that extension must um, always mention because it forms a strong back, uh, a strong fulcrum for extension practices in Nigeria. Once again, thank you for your time. Uh, this class will hold again uh, subsequently, same time next week. If there are questions, please you drop within the comment box. Please, you can subscribe. It's important you subscribe to the channel and then also have your notification button on so that once we upload um, any other new thing, it will be difficult for you to have access uh, to such documents. Thank you. Thank you.